Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm so glad to be here with you today and to read you a story about love. Did you guys get your new cards and new stories for the month? We have a new verse. It says that greater love has no one than this, that someone laid down his life for his friends. And this is from the Bible from John chapter 15, verse 13. This month we're talking about love. And love means to care deeply for someone, even if they cannot give you anything. Love means to care for someone because of who they are and not because of what they've done. Is there anybody that you love very, very much? You love them because they're yours, right? And then can you think of somebody who loves you very, very much? I think your parents love you very much and Jesus loves you very much too. Today we're going to read about some friends who love each other very much and about how they wanted to bring one of their sick friends to Jesus because they knew that Jesus loved them too. And so we're going to be looking at the story of the four good friends from the Rhyme Bible Story book and this is on page 218. It's in this Bible so if you have it you can take it out. We're going to go to page 218 and read about the four good friends. This is from Mark chapter 2 in the Bible. You ready? Look, here's the friends. One, two, three, four. And they have, these are four good friends to one man who is sick. Let's see what happens. One poor man just sat and sat. He sat all day upon his mat. He couldn't walk. He couldn't crawl. He could not move around at all. But four of his friends had come to say, We have good news for you today. We just found out that Jesus came and he can heal the sick and lame. Being lame means that you cannot walk. And I think this man cannot walk. He's just sitting and sitting because he can't use his legs. But there's good news. And his friends are here to tell him that. The place where Jesus preached and taught was in a very crowded spot. Everybody wanted to come and hear and see Jesus. There's no room, the four men cried. We will never get inside. What would you do? Do you think you would just give up and go home? What do you think the friends did? Let's see. Whoops. Then the sick man heard them say, we will find another way. They were determined, so they hunted for a spot, and they found it way on top. Through the roof, they dug a place right in front of Jesus' face. Never fear, the four men said as they lowered down the bed. They loved their friend so much and knew that Jesus wanted to see their friend too. They dug a hole in the roof and lowered their friend down in front of Jesus' face. Jesus couldn't miss them. Wow. What do you think Jesus was thinking? What do you think their friend was thinking? I love how much the friends trusted Jesus. Jesus saw what they had done, and because he was God's son, he was glad to heal their friend so that he could walk again. Look. In this story, there is so much love. Do you see the love that is shown between the friends and their sick friend? And between Jesus and their sick friend? And the sick friend must have been very thankful to all, everybody, and to love, and he loved them back too, probably. You think? This week, your craft is to make a carrier so that you can also carry around your friends, but maybe not your human friends, just your um, stuffed animal friends. And you'll find the instructions in the other video. And I hope you have a lot of fun making it and that you'll take pictures and show me what you made. I'll talk to you guys next week.